I think I see one. Yes, yeah, the least bittern. We'll get to the other camera in a moment. I'm glad this is my regret uh, from last week. I never, um, never showed you with this camera just to help show you how small this bird is. Oh, wait a minute. This one's getting its adult coloration, but it looks like a pretty young one. Last week's was young too, but this one has some downy feathers on top of its head. So, at least as far as I can tell. So let's, uh, let's switch cameras and, and take a look with the other camera. So again, this is a least bittern. And this one is on the smaller, is, is on the younger side. You can see uh, some of the younger, uh, or the, the feathers, the downy feathers on top of its head that you might see with a young one, a juvenile. And this one looks like it's getting its coloration. Maybe I'm wrong, but um, it definitely is a younger one. So it's definitely a different bird than the one we saw last week. Again, we're looking at a least bittern. And I'm gonna, um, well I can't. What I don't know is if I if I were to move, would I have? Um, can I improve our view? Uh, that I don't know. I mentioned last week that, as I had read in um, All, Ab All About Birds, the, the least bittern, even though it's a lot smaller than the, Amer the American bittern, uh, it is able to hunt in deeper water because it often will make use of reeds like this in a way that I guess the American bittern just can't. The American bittern's a larger bird, but the, uh, the least bittern were all, will often uh, cling to reeds or other vegetation uh, as we're seeing here and uh, and be able to go in you know above deeper water uh, I think I hear an Amer a, um, a song sparrow a chip note I'm going to try to hold things steady here a little bit while I, I just want to look with binoculars around while we're looking at this least bittern.
Okay, I don't see um, anything else, and I'm, now I'm wondering, do I, if, oh. Okay, now I've got a, I'm going to back up just a bit. Or you know what? Let's move forward a little bit. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh, oh, maybe not. No, I, okay, we'll stop. Oh, wait a minute. I see something else? Maybe not. Again, we're looking at a young least bittern. And in some ways we're getting a better look now than we did last week. What a beautiful bird. Somebody's making noise. I don't know who. Uh, oh, there's a, uh, I don't know what I heard, uh, what I just saw. Um, uh, I, I did hear, I went to the visitor center today, uh, and I heard that there is a Sora in the area. Um, and I don't know if I possibly just saw it or not, but I doubt it. I saw something, it was either a, uh, it might have been a, an American coot, which is similar. I never did check to see if everything's up and running, but it looks like everything is. Okay, okay, I still see it. Can I get it on camera is the question. Well, it just moved again. All right, I'm gonna move a little bit. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Like I said, in many ways, this is a better look than the one we had last week.
Again, if you're just joining us, we're looking at a lease bittern related to the to the great blue heron, but much much smaller. And this is, as you can see, the, uh, the downy feathers on top of its head. You can see this is a very young uh, least bittern. We haven't seen it catch anything yet, but it's clearly hunting. You know, despite the fact that we did see one last week and had a, a good long look at it, uh, I am taking advantage of this opportunity as well. And we, you know, forgive me if it's boring, but, uh, you know, like I said, we don't see them very often. So when we get a chance, we do our best to see them as, as well as we can. Um. I am having, oh, there it is. I, 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 it's difficult for me to see with the naked eye. It's right there, uh, pretty much in the open, but I, you know, it, it, even from here, it blends in and um, it's a small bird, so I'm having a hard time seeing it. Oh, I think I do see... No. I don't know. No, I think it's... It looks like a young, maturing uh, common gallinal. Yeah, it must be. Okay, back... Oops, sorry. Back to the... Again, we're, this is a, uh, a least bitter we're looking at. And we are getting, uh, in my opinion, some very good looks, better than we had last week. It's just the lighting and the color.
because of the way it's it's positioned right now, it's a little easier for me to see. Uh, but only because I know it's there. If I didn't know it's there, I would just see it as just, uh, uh, you know, I see its breast and belly uh, just as a lighter spot in my view. I wouldn't necessarily uh, be able to, you know, quickly note that as, oh, that must be a bird, uh, not with the naked eye. I don't see it now. Oh, I do see it. Let me, um, should I move? Probably should, but I don't. Get some vegetation in our way. If I could move up just a bit, uh, it would get it out of our way. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, there it is. I can... Like I've said, it's a small bird, so it's not easy to see um, there in the reeds like that. And again, I beg your forgiveness because we're, we're spending so much time looking at it, but it's, uh, you know, something that I enjoy watching. And we don't get to see it very often, see one very often, a least bittern, so... You know, we're getting in as many nice views as we can get. Oh, it just took off. Okay, we're gonna let it go. I'm not, I. It seemed to fly to the near side, uh, from what I could tell, and behind us somewhere. 